What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Hey, go ahead, do me a favor. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to push this because I got 90% of the people watch the channel aren't subscribed. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click that bell to get notifications. Um, drop me a comment. Man, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I'm going to be doing one of your favorites today. Uh, the Agrifab 48 inch plug aerator. Uh, you right remember a few videos back, I uh, built some weights for my aerator and uh, some that I could remove. And those are complete and I have got it hooked up. I actually have already uh, did just a little bit of aeration here in the yard. And I decided to run over to the office and grab my GoPro so I could let y'all uh, see what it's doing. So anyway, what's up, rascal? That's my little rascal. Uh, letting it be known that he is around. Yeah, man, look at here. Uh, this is, again, if you remember me aerating this before, this is super, super hard. Uh, so the front yard is really good in terms of being soft and not compacted. We don't drive on it. Obviously we drive through here in and out to the uh, carport, but this side here, it was hard when we moved here. We've been here seven years, about five years ago, we built this addition on the back and uh, now our youngest daughter's in there, but our oldest daughter was there, then our middle daughter, now our youngest daughter. So before they leave home, they get to go out here and have their own little uh, area that's uh, kind of connected to the house by a roof, but that's it. Uh, so we, 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 daughters, boyfriends, you know, uh, obviously I park all my stuff out here, so I drive across this, so this is a very, very compacted soil, but, uh, anyway, just kind of show you what I ended up doing here and how these turned out. Uh, I don't know how they're going to hold up with all the vibration and whatnot, but, uh, these wire handles, remember I put, uh, studs on the bottom of these. And I drilled holes through here uh, so they'll sit in there and they seem to be uh, sitting in there really nicely uh, I think I got about maybe 120 pounds on here uh, those are somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 pounds I, I weighed them with my fish scale uh, I, I, they were a little over that I think but I don't think they were completely dry maybe um, so now that all the water contents gone uh, I'm gonna say these right here are about 25 a piece remember one side's shorter than the other side this is like 23 total inches this is like 20 total inches uh again if i had it to do over uh i would have built these four inches high maybe even four and a half probably put a little bit more concrete but then again you don't want to bend the tines on this thing either so you know i don't know 120 pounds in a normal yard uh would probably work pretty good uh, you can probably see on the ground i got a few plugs here so uh i'm just going to set you up on the tripod i think and i'm going to run this and i may if i can find my clip i may hang this thing on there and do some action some close-up action like i did uh the last time i did a video on this so again this is agrifab 48 inch plug aerator i got about 120 pounds of weight on it and some seriously compacted soil i'm just going to get out here with the hustler raptor sd and uh just have some fun man see what it does all right here we go all right i'm just going to set you up here and uh i'm gonna roll
this it's a little harder to tell out here because this is soft but at the same time it's taking plugs out but i cut this at about two and three quarters uh so it's definitely going in the ground we're gonna do something really stupid here but you know hey looks like one of my pieces bounced up some i did hit uh i did hit a couple of roots and uh that might be the reason but anyway i'm gonna do something crazy here hang this gopro up here and i do have gopro plus so you know we're just gonna see what happens uh Since the video's upside down, I figured I better stop it and start it. All right, we're gonna run it this way and uh, kind of let you get some first-hand footage. Probably gonna be a little bouncy. So I don't know how well uh, that footage helped you. Um, I don't know what you can really tell from looking at it. Um, but, you know, we do have, even out here in this compacted soil, uh, we do have, they're not very big plugs, but they are at least getting through the thatch. Uh, you know, I'm only getting about that deep. You know, not very deep, but uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, actually. I got a bag of uh, annual ryegrass, and I don't really know much about overseeding. I watched a ton of different videos, but anyway, I'm just gonna put some down, see what happens. <laughs> I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, it either works or it don't. I'm gonna lift this bad boy up right here and uh, I think I'll, I'll kind of show you here real quick uh, I don't know how easy these will come out now that they've settled in there yeah, not bad so I'll just uh, take these and put them in my shop I don't really have a place for them yet but I've been on that software so it's like a really good place until uh until I figure out exactly what I'm going to do with them. So I'll get the rest of them in here. Get them put up here. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my prayer for you is always the same. That the Lord might richly bless you. That you might see all of your blessings as from Him. Have a great day.